Capricorn. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for September 18th through the 24th. <laughs> this is for the sign of Capricorn. It may or may not resonate, as is for hundreds of thousands of people. Um, I have pre-shuffled each of the three decks that I'm going to use three times for your reading. We have the Two of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Magician, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. All right, it does look like this is a week of heartache of some sort. Your heart is aching over something, and I'm not sure this is intended to be a love reading, so we'll see what more comes up. But your heart is aching over something that has ended. Here you are, and this is like a relationship, but it looks like it, there's some heartache here. And there might have been a third party situation that you became aware of where this person that you were interested in <laughs> is interested in somebody else or it could be vice versa. I do see that or you could be interested in someone else. Either way, there's definitely some sadness and some heartache over a loss. Something is ending and it's either it has already ended or it may be ending this week or it may be coming up. All right. But you're definitely feeling some pain over a loss. There's no doubt about it. Um, and you may be independent. You may be focusing on your independence or thinking about your independence or living quite happily in your own little world and just being completely grateful for all that you have and who you are and what you've accomplished. I see that you're feeling very grateful. Um, You may be focusing on your work. I see that your work is at play this week where it's a big um, part of your week. Or it's a big part of your focus. I see that you know you have this heartache over some love situation, but because you're focusing on your work, it's not that big of a deal. You're po focusing on your journey, okay? Um, I see there's a lot of excitement though this week, so you may be beginning a new adventure. You know, could be at work, it, it's something. I see you starting a new adventure. Either you already have or you're about to or you are starting it this week. You're just going someplace where, or you're starting something that is new and exciting and it takes confidence and courage to do this. So you might be leaving something behind in need for excitement, you know, in, in, um, to head in the direction of something more adventurous, okay? I see that you're just doing the right thing for you. I think that you're fully aware of what you want. You're taking action. You're following your own path. Um, you're using your inner tools to get over whatever this heartache is, whatever is hurting you. You're just fully, of fully aware of your feelings and what you need to do. Um, I do. I don't see there's any confusion. You don't have any confusion. I think that you've probably been um, just moving forward slowly, taking it one day at a time, all right? Um, and I think that work is a big focus, and you're just grateful for all that you have materialistically, financially, and that, you know, you still you might have a little bit of heartache here, but I don't see any any new love at this point you know I think there's been delays as far as love goes as far as focusing on love that's not at the um, height of your thoughts at this moment okay I see you're moving you're just heading in the direction of excitement and adventure I think that's what it is you're looking for adventure more so than lovey-dovey. 
Or financial security. I think you're really focusing on financial security as well. You know, I think you've been hurt recently or in the past. Could even been a couple years ago, you know, or a few years ago that you're still not over, but you are getting over it, okay? Knight of Swords. Again, twice. This is a very fast-moving energy. I'm going to try to deal the cards before I talk. Um... You have a lot of major arcana here that tells me that this is universally driven. The more major cards you have, the more universal guidance, the more universal um, help you have at this time. So with all these majors, this is telling me that you have a lot of universal divine guidance here. If there was more minor cards like the Five of Swords and the Six of Swords and Two of Cups and all that, then it would mean that this is all up to you. The, the universe isn't... This is something that you need to choose to do. But because of all of this, this is divine. Okay, this is part of your journey. This is all meant to be. This all has a purpose in your life. Okay, with all these major cards. This is all happening as planned is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, the Knight of Swords, you have it twice. That's a very fast moving energy. That's, a, that's like the fastest moving night. Okay. It's like acting um, very quickly and not worrying about anybody but yourself and I think right now this week that's what you're doing you're focusing on yourself all right and, and it's really br making you very vibrant you're vibrating high because of it I think that you have a lot of strength you have a lot of self-worth you have a lot of self-confidence I think that you're feeling really good I think you're proud of yourself and you're and you've earned it okay um, I think that you're happy, you're content, it looks really, really good. I think that in the past you let something go and, you know, it still may linger and you may have heartache over it, but you're getting through it and, you know, I think that you're thinking, you're, you're taking action away from that. You're moving away from that past heartache. That's what I see. The two of coins, that's the change that's happening right now, okay? I think you're moving away from fear. The moon card is fear. It's about something going on behind the scenes or fearing that something is going on behind the scenes. I think you're moving away from that. I don't think you have a lot of fear this week. Okay, the judgment card is an awakening. It's a wake-up call. It is. Right next to the magician card, you are going through a period of change. All right, where you're releasing fear and you're thinking positive and you're using your inner resources to be positive and to take positive action. All right, I see that this is a very positive week where everything is good. I don't see I don't see new love coming in if you're single because I see you see that you're focusing on yourself and you're very proud of yourself and you're focusing on you. Okay, if you're coupled, I see it just the same. You know, it is. It's just you're focusing on you. I don't see any strife. You know, I just see a little bit of heartache that's lingering, but it's not overtaking you, okay? Um, I'm going to get some of these. We're looking for love. Is there any future love? I think that you, a lot of you are loving yourselves, okay? You have a Leo here a couple times. You have yourself, which is Capricorn, but you also have Taurus and Virgo. You have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but you do have Leo pretty prominently. Um, you know, you may have, um, you may be with your soulmate already if you're in a relationship, or if you're single, you may be having uh, lingering thoughts of somebody that didn't work out and um, it was somebody that you were deeply connected to you know you thought you were deeply connected to but they may you know have been a little too promiscuous okay You are healing. You're healing this week over some past hurt. And you, well, you have been healing, and this is just another step, okay? You're taking action. You're moving forward pretty quickly. I think you're just, whatever's hurt you in the past, it's pretty, it's almost completely healed. I mean, it still lingers, but it's not there like it was before, 
All right. You know, no, this is the future now because this is the after tarot. Okay, so your heart gets healed even more. And then maybe new love comes in. Maybe you actually allow it to come in. You decide to put down your wand or un unguard yourself, you know, and not to maybe perhaps let it come in. Maybe you communicate with somebody or somebody communicates with you that, that um, is interested if once you get to a point where you're ready for that okay because this is new love it could be a new beginning in love you may receive communication from somebody and now that your heart this is the future remember so this could be three months from now whatever okay this is the future this is the after tarot so this is your heart is healing even more more and more and more all right and this is you deciding to let your guard down okay and this is a very impulsive, this is like a sexual energy, so this is in the future. Maybe you have some sexual attraction to somebody, or somebody has one to you. That's when your heart is more healed than it was up here in this, this one. So I see that this week is pretty much about you working on you, and you taking care of you, and your self-respect, and your self-worth, and your self-confidence is way up there. I see you starting a new adventure, and maybe once you get in that adventure, and things are going really, really well, and you've forgotten about this hurt, and, this, and when you've forgotten about it, that's when the bandages really come on. It's like, woo, I'm starting to feel a lot better. That's when this new love might come in, if you're single. If you're coupled, it would be um, a resurgence of love within the relationship because now you actually have started this adventure and you feel good enough to want to give it, want to show it. That's what I have, Capricorn. Talk to you later.